Soy sauce is one of the most important ingredients in Japanese cuisine. Yet only 1% of the country's supply is made through the traditional method of barrel aging. That's because it can take four years for one batch to go from barrel to bottle. Yasuo Yamamoto is a fifth generation soy sauce maker and one of the only brewers in the country who hand builds his own barrels. Most fermented seasonings in Japan used to be made this way, but industrialization replaced almost all the country's wooden barrels with steel. Today, the average soy sauce is made through a shorter, chemicalized process. So what does it take to make authentic soy sauce? And how is this centuries-old method still standing? What makes the soy sauce special is the wooden barrel, called kiyoke. One can last for over a century. Yasuo makes bamboo strips to wrap around the barrel, because the saltiness of the soy sauce can corrode metal. It takes at least three people to assemble one barrel. But not many do this anymore. After modern machinery took over the market, almost all kiyoke makers in Japan went out of business. So Yasuo learned to make his own. Before these barrels are put to use, crushed wheat and steamed soybeans are mixed with koji, the fungus that will kickstart the fermentation process. This giant vat regulates temperature so the fungus can grow. After two days, the mixture goes to the Moromi house. This is where the wooden barrels help create the breeding ground for the bacteria. Over one ton of the soybean mixture fills each barrel along with salt water. While Yasuo and his team stir, the soybeans bump up against each other and create tiny tears so that other bacteria can get in and start to break them down. The workers pump air into the barrel to make the aerobic yeast more active. Even though Yasuo says the microbes do most of the work, his part of the job is still demanding. He checks on the soybeans every day to see if they need mixing. And based on their scent and appearance, he can tell where they are in the process. The soybeans will ferment here for at least a year and a half. Yasuo has 87 barrels in different phases. He believes a good barrel is one that will outlive him. These types of barrels have been in production in Japan since at least the 17th century. But everything changed during World War II, when materials became more scarce and expensive in Japan. The government knew its people couldn't live without their staple seasoning. So they ordered factories to make production cheaper and faster cutting the process from years to months. So while many brewers expanded and modernized, small businesses like Yasuo's families could barely keep up. Yasuo stepped in in 2003, just before his father suddenly became sick and had to retire. So he had to take over and pull a struggling business out of debt. He also had to teach himself a lot of the process, like how to use the press. After a year and a half of fermentation, Yasuo pipes the soybean mixture into this machine. He layers on a piece of traditional wrapping cloth. Then the machine slowly squeezes out the soy sauce over 10 days. The 
Some industrial factories press it all at once. But Yasuo says getting a quality product is all about patience. After this stage, some of the soy sauce goes back into the barrel with more soybeans and wheat for two more years to make Yasuo's main product, saishikomi, a darker, stronger tasting soy sauce. When the microbes have enough time to naturally ferment the soybeans, it gives the soy sauce a sweeter aftertaste. Some industrial brands mimic this by adding sweeteners. That balanced umami flavor is what chefs like Itoshi Kishimoto are after. He's been running his restaurant Koyomi in Shodoshima for five years. For almost every dish, he cooks with naturally fermented soy sauce, including Yasuo's brand. で、今回はだいたい in order for traditional soy sauce to continue, barrel production needs to keep up. That's why Yasuo holds barrel making workshops every year. He sells his authentic soy sauce to people all over the world. A bottle goes for $35 on Amazon, around triple the price of a commercial alternative. For Yasuo, passing down the legacy of barrel aged soy sauce is part of his life's mission. あの